you know how YouTube is. I see that video on that uh, product. And so they linked me to this guy's channel. Um, and it's Rob, whatever his name is. He, uh, I don't know if he's the, uh, if he put this up or not, if he's the brickwork guy or not, I didn't, I didn't go down his channel that way. Um, all I know is I'm going to do a, a, a response to this video. The fine art of brickwork, cracked brickwork. All right. So let's scrub this a little bit. He doesn't really talk, I think, until... So here's the data. And he doesn't really talk until... Oh, yes, I don't think he talks at all. But he comments. So I'll let you guys see the video kind of like this, and then I'll break it down for you. Um, I'll tell you that his repair is wrong. The repair shown in the video is wrong. So there's your hint, and I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple of. Uh, it looks nice when he's done, but it didn't fix anything. It did not fix anything besides close up the cracks, in whatever capacity that it looks like. Um, but and there, there's the bar. There's the right there. The Healy Healy product right here. Healy bar. It's interesting. I don't even think he put it in the comments, but yet it's it showed up in my video as a comment there. Uh, looks like he took out the brick, cleaned up new brick, put it in there, whatever. There, let's just let's just go there and uh, let's let this scrub a little bit. And cracked and uh, loose bricks removed. Uh, cracked and loose bricks removed. Um, uh, this crack went much further than first thought. Um, the crack went much further than much thought. I don't get that. You would see it. Um, the sand cement pointing, um, only three to four millimeters thick. He's picking on the repoint job. This is the wrong for two reasons. Um, repointing should be 12 to 15 millimeters thick. Uh, sand cement mortar is far too strong for soft bricks. Interesting, he says for soft bricks, right? But yet he's going to use a rosin, a resin that's uh, much harder than this, the bricks. So you can't get heavy cake and eat it too, but let's let this video turn, run out, and then I'll, I'll tell you what you're looking at. So it looks nice when he's done. Again, it looks nice when he's done. But then I'll show you what's really going on. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you two, two tips or two hints. All right, so this is mortar. He used a resin there. See the resin? So this stuff hardens up to whatever resin he, product he has. And in fact, it's his, it appears to be his finished resin, so I'm confused about his statement about being too hard. And yet, so there's the audio. Not me, that's his audio in the background. And yet, that looks like the resin slicked up right there. Not, not, a, not a mortar. And it says, he calls it pointing to match existing. So that looks like the resin. All right, let's, let's, that's his finished job. There it is finished. It looks nice. Now I'll tell you. Oh, wait a minute. Let's let him show the neighbor next door. And um, unfortunately, the neighbor next door, he said, this is the neighbor's repair. They just took it out, went up the cracks, and did that. Okay. So now let's 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 break this down. Let's come back to um, this crack here. So remember, cracks mean everything. Cracks are very important. This crack is open, open. To get an open crack, when your bricks were there, you need movement. Of uh, in this case, you have to have some movement. Some displacement has to take place. Your house has to get wider. The foundation has to rotate, etc. This appears to be lower to lower than that. This is an opening of a half an inch or so. It's an opening, and even uh, the bond was great, so great on that it, it, it fractured the brick. This is the house to the right. Let's look at it going up. It's still open. It, it pulled apart and cracked that brick there and found the least resistance in this brick at this point. And all the way up, pulling apart. All right, let's, let's, let's show you. Let me, all right, so here we have the right side and the left side. What do we have here? We have a column here, 
And basically, we have a column here before you have the window to the right. So let me add this up for you. Let's look at the window to the right. And so you see it's a big bay window. And that's it here. That's the bay window here. Wraps around. And you can imagine the window has a header on it. But what I want you to take note is look at the brick's surfaces. This brick is further out than this brick. So our, we have movement going in an inbound direction, inbound. A buckle, if you will. Up, up here, we're about even, Stephen. And then we get inbound here. Well, what, where's the moment? What would cause the buckling? And we're going back to the column. And here we have that little section here. And a section here. So if we get this to, to uh, the footer to rotate um, counterclockwise, um, looking at it from this direction, counterclockwise, rotating from water uh, saturation, you know, etc. It rotates. It makes a, a moment right about here, right upon this, right about this direction here. And same thing with this side. It rotates inwards. That, and then we have this. So we have this rotating inwards. That gives us our our, our rotation. Uh, well, this cracked twice. So here's a crack here. So this was the first crack, and this was the, uh, let's see if I get that right, first crack, and then the secondary crack, because if this was the first crack, you wouldn't be able to get that crack across it. All right, so, um, so it cracked twice, so it had another settling moment right about there where you see the compression in the stone there, and then here's our second bump in nature, if you will, the second bump of movement. You can see the staggered step here to get this to go back in place. Um, this is forward. So you just can't fix this by rerouting and replacing the bricks back in plane with each other or using those ties. You have a foundation issue, a foundation issue on this one. And over here we have a foundation issue also. But let's go with, you know, and it has a header inch cross there. That header takes the load of that wall above it. So let's, uh, so there's our header across for this window. But again, we have the rotation, the rotation inwards, and this side's out. So we get that by that one column, if you will, rotating inward, causing a, a slight buckling, and then you get this bow in this wall that tapers off as it goes up. All right, so then let's look at the right corner and, and tie it all in for you. So there it is. This is your right corner. And as you see here in this right corner, again, we have the this corner wall line up pretty great, but we've got a, a, a inward motion here. See that right here, the step, this is facing us, uh, full more forward at us than this. So that's also a mini column, if you will, right here below us. So it doesn't take much to cause this whole wall, much water to cause an effect on this entire wall system, especially with the header being installed, making it a weaker um, plane. Remember shear planes? I'm sorry. Um, I want you to think more like... Um, shear panels and we don't really have a shear panel we got a few bricks here and then we have a header and then we have a column and then we have a door opening and then we got another column and then we got no door opening so there's the, the, the continuous um, shear panel would be the bricks if you will the bricks couldn't are not or these bricks configuration could not uh, perform to act as a shear panel and so much so you look how hugely uh, my word hugely uh, uh, um, set back that is over compared to this one so you have a foundation settlement problem here rotation and foundation it's buckling this column and uh, turning the column inwards and then you're getting a buckling uh, result in the brick not from the load above but from the rotation of the column you can see right about there is where it comes back into plane about and there it is there so we, we, come, we come down and blow that window let's see if I can uh, See how far he goes. You see it's right here. All right, let's stop there. This is part of him doing his repair. This is just, you know, going to reset the bricks in plane with each other. That doesn't fix the, the, the real issue. Let's go to the right wall. You can come here and look at his video and see this and critique it. Um, look at it. So now, this wall looks pretty stable. This entire foundation and everything is continuous. Um, there's no water that flows off there, so the water appears to flow front and left and right. But maybe the, there's a downspout that flows here. There's a downspout, I think, right here from this roof that was connected, and that's one of the holes for it. 
I believe, um, that saturated the, the uh, foundation somehow. It, it's got water down there and rotated it. Again, we've got an inward, inward uh, rotation towards the house. Also because you've got such small columns, if you will. So this will be a column, the entire front of the house. You've got a header. Then the, again, again, we've got that one little window action going on here. Look to the thumbnail. Thumbnail right above my thumbnail, which is right here. Follow my mouse. So you see there's a column in the middle, then a column to the left, and a column to the right. Then there's that window. If you're looking at it here, looking at the thumbnail and these two together. You've got a huge plane with just these these column, 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 well, four columns for that great width. And it doesn't take much, again, to undermine it. I was doing a video for you guys. I didn't quite finish it. And it was showing I was stacking bricks using sand and undermining it with water. I've got to edit it. And you know what? This is what it would help you understand. That, that video would help you understand a little more. But the rotation, how it happens with the water. Um, here's a brick. He won't, I, he's not showing all the way down, but there's a crack. Let's, let's back up. So here's the crack, a crack rather. And so you can see it's, it's, this would be your, your rotation here. I don't know how the footer was done or, you know, the stack these bricks, but this would be the, 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 the diff, this would be the column I'm referring to. This is acting like a, st a stable column for the outside wall. It can't rotate that because that wall is huge, right? It's got a lot of load behind it. So it, it rotates, but it shears itself from this, this side, from this side. Because again, remember looking at thumbnail, let's just back it up. This has got a lot of stability behind, a lot of backing behind it. So the rotation happens, it can't move this wall. So here's your shear plane, shearing right through the bricks. Um, through those bricks and as it rotates inward. And that's what you're looking at there. <clears throat> so did this, did these wire ties, did these ties work? These uh, Healy, tie, Healy coil tie, Healy, Healy stitch, stitching, Healy stitching. Did it, does it work with this? No, it's a foundation issue. You still need to resolve. Um, those ties will be as strong as they are and just displace the, the stresses that's all they're going to do. This place is stresses, but the stresses are still happening. Um, I think he said this happened over one year, so they have a critical failure happening. He went down this far. I'm not showing more bricks. So that rotation will be right about there. On the one to the middle, the rotation appears to be higher. So it's a little bit of torque action going on with this foundation failure. And is that his working ladder? Um, he's just going to marry bricks up in here, I guess. Just... Yep, that's the way that went. So, again, they didn't fix anything. He moved the bricks out and put them back in plane. That didn't fix the issue. The wall is still um, rotating inwards. This should be a foundation issue, not not this other smoke and mirrors crap. Let's go to, and again, he uses um, this product, thinking that's going to do it. That 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 that's a that's for that's the it's not the structural repair for this. Maybe part of it, but it's not the repair um, for this, for what's going on here. Um, this is a rotation of the footer, or lack of footer. But again, we have the movement here, so we have a rotation of this section here going in. You've got the problem with uh, your continuous header, basically, from one end to the end. Another end with these intermittent columns that are that are, uh, that this one appears, the house to the right appears the one that having more of the, ro the issues here and here. So it appears more to the house to the right than to the house to the left. So I'd, I'd look more for that. And part of my reasoning is that the buckling in of this, the, the moment of that going inwards towards the house, this doesn't have the same duplicate this is just a consequence of uh, this house's failure um, crossing over the party wall into these people's property, if you will. Specifically, look at his column here. It's connecting beautifully so. All right, ending the video, just wanted to show you again why keeping water, or talk to you about keeping water off of your foundation, guys. Keep it off your foundation. I'm totally against 
uh, building codes with this water and foundation and putting, you know, get that water there and drain it off. You're just making a river at your footer. I think that's one of the most ridiculous things ever. And that's why we have so many cracked walls and basement walls, etc. Because of this uh, not keeping water away from the building. Stopping it from getting near the building and just deciding I can build on this land right here. Dig down eight feet and so be it. I run across water. No big deal. Keep on going. Without exploring what's going on at eight foot. Well, let's call it nine foot with a footer. What's going on at this nine foot at the soil down there? Is it is it a river down there? Is it a river down there? If so, when your house starts cracking, don't don't cry because you didn't build a boat. Um, wow, I like that comment. Take care, guys. Bye.